Okay, let's do this. Um, I never thought that I would have said that, but Greg and I are moving to Berlin. Now that might not sound too terrible for you, um, but the fact is that I wanted to make this video about preparing for our trip down to Spain. I wanted to make this video about us moving down to Spain, show you all around our new neighborhood, show the whole packing process and us arriving in Malaga, Spain. And it's just been this idea, this dream that I really thought would happen. But as you all know, 2020 is not a big fan of plans and promises. So the reality is that we're not moving down to Spain right now, we're moving to Berlin instead. And that really isn't all that bad, it's just that expectations are not being met and I'm slightly disappointed about that and I wanted to share that feeling, um, that process with you and take you along on our changed journey. If you're following this channel on a regular basis, then you know that I made an update video a couple of weeks ago that was all about change and the change in our lives and that 2020 is all about change. And it's slightly ironic that this video is now going to be an update video of the update video because things are not what they were two weeks ago. And that's what I want to talk about today. So let's dive into this change update video and travel back in time for a second. About two weeks ago, on the 15th of August, the German government released a travel warning for a lot of European countries, including Spain. Corona cases have been rising throughout the entire country of Spain, but especially areas like the Basque Country, Catalonia and Mallorca have been heavily affected and shown an alarming increase in COVID cases. Now you might think that a travel warning doesn't necessarily apply to someone who wants to move to the affected country. And I agree, we could have moved down to Malaga right now, granted that we didn't really want to just go there on holiday and come back in two weeks, we wanted to live there long term. But, and that's where the pandemic changed our course of plans again. Greg had gotten a really important job with a German client a couple of months ago that was meant to take place at the end of September. And saying yes to Spain would have put that campaign at risk, which considering that he had lost a lot of his work throughout COVID anyway, didn't really seem like a smart move. Now we had two choices. We could have stayed at my mom's house for another month or we could bite the bullet and find a place to rent somewhere in Germany. Now, if you've ever moved back in with your parents after years of independence, then you know that option one was not really an option for us. Don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful for the time that we had here. My mom has been absolutely amazing, but there's always a time to leave and that time is now. Option two wasn't really my favorite either because as you all know, I am German, but I don't really see my future here in Germany, at least not in terms of living. And Greg and I both agreed that we wanted to be in Spain, that we wanted to set up a bit of a home base there, which for us is new too, because we have been traveling for the past uh, three years, living entirely nomadically. And that was a big step for us and making that commitment was a big step. And now it seems like those plans have definitely been postponed, maybe even been destroyed, who knows. And we have to change plans again, which is fine, but it hurts a bit to admit to ourselves that being in Germany is probably our best option right now. And I think we're still trying to figure that out. It doesn't mean that we can't ever move to Spain, but it means that we shouldn't be moving there right now. I can tell you that this Airbnb hunt hasn't been the easiest that we've ever done and we've rented a ton of Airbnbs, but we finally found a place in Berlin for the next month and we are going to move in on the 2nd of September. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said Airbnb, which means that we are not renting long term, which means that you're probably wondering if we're just continuing the nomadic lifestyle and whether I use this title as a clickbait. Yes and no. Moving to Berlin is a temporary solution for us right now, but to be honest, as quickly as things have changed this year, I'm not even sure if announcing our move to Berlin was a smart idea because things might change tomorrow. And I won't actually believe that we're moving to Berlin until we are literally in that apartment. This year has just been so crazy, overwhelming and uncertain for all of us that I just feel like everything becomes possible and impossible at the same time. But I guess at least that keeps things exciting here on the channel for you guys and for me as well. Now, apart from the high possibility that our trip to Berlin is being canceled for some weird reason that I don't know about yet, my biggest worry right now is what to pack. And that's partly why I'm filming this video in my mom's attic, because I'm sitting on my giant suitcase that I haven't used in years. 
The last time I used it was when we moved down to Alicante, Spain three years ago. And now I have to figure out what I want to bring, what I want to clear up here in the attic and bring with us to Berlin and then hopefully eventually to Spain. But it will be challenging to fill this giant suitcase, at least that's what I think right now because we have been living and traveling nomadically with only a carry-on suitcase for the past three years. So even though I have accumulated stuff over the last three months, I still think that I'm gonna find it challenging to fill this massive suitcase because it's so big, I'm gonna show you. And it's completely dusty as well, great. Nice color though, huh? So I'm gonna fill this up with all my stuff and then I'm gonna bring a little carry-on suitcase, the one that I have been traveling with for the last three years. And then I'm gonna bring a little backpack with all my office stuff and that should be it. Oh, this is so crazy filming this video right now. I think it's beginning to sink and that we might be finally leaving this place after six months, which is the longest that we've spent in one place since we left Alicante three years ago. It all seems really overwhelming, but I'm glad I'm able to tell you this because it makes it more real. And I do hope that you find our journey exciting and inspiring and that you learn from our mistakes of living nomadic and not having a house throughout times like COVID. I'm not saying that I'm regretting that at all. I'm not regretting our nomad lifestyle at all, but uh, it's definitely become a bit more challenging and showed us what the benefits are of having a house yourself that you can come back to when something like the pandemic happens. Of course, I will try to keep you updated about our new old nomadic life here in the community tab and also over on my Instagram channel. So if you're not subscribed over there, make sure to do that now under Nelly underscore winter because I will be sharing a lot more insights in my Instagram stories. I'm sure you do have a lot of questions about this recent update and our move to Berlin. So do I, to be honest. So make sure to drop them in the comments below. And I'm very excited to uh, take you with us on yet another unexpected journey. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on this channel very soon. Bye for now and cheers from Hamburg.